those people who get labeled as heretics or cults. Uh, cult is what, as, as I saw on another show, is what the big congregation calls the little congregation. There's <laughs> fundamentally no difference between the two. Yes, I understand for those of you who are getting ready to call in in a panic over, over cult, that there is an alternate kind of colloquial definition of cult, which involves, you know, a subversive, let's take them away from their family and lock them up and everything else. But I'd say that Christianity tends to do that same thing, only less overtly. Because what do they encourage? They encourage you to go to church, to socialize and fellowship with Christians, to avoid those things of the world which could possibly pollute your mind. They're, they're doing the same thing, the same, you need to separate yourself. They're just doing it at a lesser degree. And Christianity is a cult, just like every other religion or belief like that's a cult. We just don't call it that because, you know, there's a lot of them. I'll call it that. I don't mind. In the original definition of the word cult, nobody would have even objected. Yep. That it's okay, it's justifiable to call Christianity a fantasy. For the same reason that we would call a book with unicorns a fantasy, a book with magical spells and supernatural stuff, all that stuff gets labeled as a fantasy. And Christianity includes all those elements. And until you demonstrate that it's actually real, it's not real. It, it's an extreme claim um, that goes beyond... And, 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 I don't know that people really get this. It's not just a little bit outside of the realm. It, if any of this were true, if any of this supernatural um, stuff is true, it would fundamentally change everything we know about everything in the, in the universe. You couldn't, science would stop working. You couldn't rely on any results. I'll start the discussion. Religion is retarded. Next.